I think a, a slightly milder form of child abuse is the labeling of children, the tying around the neck of a child of a label that says you are a Lutheran child or you are a, an Anglican child or you are a Catholic child or a Muslim child. Um, that I think is child abuse in that it categorizes the child for the whole of its life very often with opinions which the child is too young to know about. But I agree with you that that's not as bad as telling a child about hell, which I think really is uh, proper child abuse, very likely as bad as physical child abuse, sexual child abuse, which uh, Roman Catholic priests, for example, are so often accused of. Um, I told the story in the book of how I, uh, in, in Dublin, talking to a Dublin audience, I was asked about the um, uh, then highly publicized cases of Irish and American Roman Catholic priests sexually abusing children. And I said that I thought that in many cases uh, that was less harmful than some of the doctrines of bringing, in bringing up the children as Catholic in the first place. And I got a, a cheer from this Dublin audience. And again, I suspect the reason was that Ireland too has been um, in the grip of, in this case, a Roman Catholic uh, theocracy for a long time is coming out of it now. And I think that this cheer that I got was, was responding to that. Maybe it's a bit of an exaggeration to say that, uh, that tying a label around a child's neck as Catholic or Muslim, whatever it is, is child abuse. Um, but sometimes it does no harm to exaggerate just a little bit in the interest of consciousness raising. Let me retract from that then and say what I want to say, which is that uh, just as we've all been taught by feminists to flinch when we hear the phrase